Today we want to talk about incremental reserves, show an example of how you can have incremental reserves, and how would you model them economically in a PhD win software. So what are incremental reserves? These are additional reserves that may be recovered over and above the base case scenario. Some examples could be where you have higher estimates of reserves, maybe probable and possible reserves. It could be due to a larger reservoir. You're not sure about the reservoir size or you're not sure about the recovery factor, but you could have some higher values of these two items. You could have improved well performance where you're going to optimize artificial lift and you expect the rates and therefore the reserves to be, have some upside to them. So you could have incremental reserves in that case. You could de-bottleneck some of your production equipment to help production rates go up. And for the specific example we want to show today is a gas well where you have compression that will add reserves, incremental reserves, if you add compression to the well. All right, so here's an example of a producing gas well. This is a rate versus time plot. The gas is in red, historical gas with my reserve projection to the right. The oil is in green, historical with the projection to the right. So this specific case is a well, gas well producing into a pipeline that has a 900 PSI system pressure. And the black dots here are the flow and tubing pressure for the well. So we can extend the flow and tubing pressure until it reaches approximately 900 PSI. And at that point, the well will start declining more rapidly because it's reached the line pressure. And so the, this reserve projection should be tied to the ultimate recoverable that you've estimated using the abandonment pressure that would be appropriate to this well with no, uh, with no uh, compression. And the economics on this producing well show it to have a value of about $2 million. Okay, so let's look at how you would model incremental reserves. All right, here's the same well, but we've added an incremental wedge up here at the top in red and in green here at the bottom above the pre producing curve. All right, so... In this case, we're planning to add compression to the well in 2021. So we will have a rate increase when we add the compression because we can lower the flow and tubing pressure. So if you lower the flow and tubing pressure, you will uh, increase the rate and, the, and because you have a compression, you will be able to produce longer and recover more reserves. So we have an incremental wedge up here due to adding compression. All right, so, and the lower abandonment pressure will add reserves. So the incremental reserves are shown on the incremental case at the bottom. And the value of the incremental reserves is 1.7 million. So, okay, that would be an example of how you have uh, incremental reserves. So let's see how you model those in PhD Win. All right, so here's my PhD Win project. I have it set up. I have a producing well the miller number one all right so here's the producing well and my uh, production gas oil and water at the bottom and flow and tube pressure and so uh, i have my operating expenses here is 6500 a month uh, there are no investments because this is a producing well my ownership and taxes and my prices are all modeled in so this is a proved developed producing well. Here's my projection that we went over before. Okay. All right. So we want to add an incremental reserve case to this well by adding compression. Let's save that. All right. So to do that, you, uh, what you do is you go to the well you want to have incremental reserves on and you press this little button up here this, uh, and, and you create an incremental case when you press that. All right, so a name will come up and it just adds incremental to the well name. So what we're going to call this one is, this is the Miller number one compression. All right, and you have these other uh, check boxes that you have to look at when you uh, create the case. So we want to have investments because the compressor will cost money to put on 
install. So we're going to ch uncheck that. And the expenses for an incremental compressor well will have will have to go up. So we want to uncheck the expenses. All right. So when we press create, it will create an incremental case for us. All right. So now we have a new case right here with the little symbol next to it. So that indicates it. All right. Okay. So first thing we want to do uh, is we want to uh, get the expenses modeled out right. So we know that in the base case, you have to go ahead and add that $6,500 a month in the base case. And that's going to last about 26 months until you do the install the compressor because we're going to install the compressor in 2021. So we go ahead and do, uh, put that for 26 months and then we go ahead and insert another segment. So after we install the compressor, it's going to cost a thousand dollars more per month to rent and maintain that compressor. So we're going to change this to 7,500 to model in the higher operating expense. The investment, okay, we'll have some investments. So we go to the investment tab, we press insert and we uh, label it install compressor or compression. And we can label that as a workover. All right, we know that's going to happen in the middle of 2021, 7-1-2021 is the date. We have to have a date and we know it's going to cost $150,000 to move in the equipment and tie in the uh, production equipment. So we save that. Okay, another thing that we have to do is we have to go to the general info tab and it defaulted to moving this incremental case to probable. What we want to call it is proved non-producing. So that's the category for adding reserves with compression. So it's proved non-producing. So let's save that. All right. So here's our base case projection, but we want to figure out how the well is going to perform if we add compression. So the first thing to do is we're going to go ahead and delete and modify the projection. So let's take off the second segment. All right. On the first segment, we know that in 2021, that's when we're going to do the work. So let's stop the projection there. Then we add a new projection at that point by pressing the plus sign after. And we know that the rate is going to go up when we add the compression. So we change the initial rate. So then we get a higher curve up there. And we'll go ahead and extend that out a few years. And this has to be tied to our volumetrics and our recovery at the lower abandonment pressure. And then we have to do the same thing for the oil. So we go ahead and we'll go ahead and delete the second segment on the first segment. We'll end it at 21, 2021. And then we'll add a new segment for oil after. And that's, we know that's going to jump up. The rate of the oil is going to jump up because the gas production goes up also. Okay. So now we have the incremental wedge built. Let's say that. And if you want to, take the bottom curve off your graph just to be, for clarity you can double click go to archives and uncheck the base case all right so that shows it pretty clearly all right when you press save then it shows the uh, value of the incremental case so we've added in the higher expenses we had a higher production and the investment so let's go ahead and run a reserve report just to see how that looks so we're going to do select report Okay, so to run our report, we're going to use the standard one liner as it first pass. Let's go ahead and run that. All right, so we have two cases. We have the Miller number one is approved, developed, producing is the value and a seven year life. And the incremental case is for the compression. It's approved non producing has incremental reserves here. And it increases the life to 10 years and adds 1.7 million to the value. So, and then at the top is the total. So the total project is worth 3.8 million and the, the producing and, and non-producing are there. So that's how you do it. Uh, it's real simple. And so if you have any questions, please give me a call. Thanks.